Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 22-yard line. to throw it's Allen he'll find Diggs once more on the completion and he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39 second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down well he's one of the top receivers in the game Charles so no surprise here on the opening drive they want to get him involved and he has catches on back-to-back -back plays. And Brandon, I look at it from the defense's perspective. You know he's one of the top receivers in the game. You've got to find ways to slow him down because if he gets into high gear, he's going to shred you all game long. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. From midfield, here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Allen now looks to throw. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 39. 11 yards for number 11. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On first down, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. A ball on the 32. It's second and two. Allen going to throw. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as the tackle is made right at the 25-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he's got it. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Couple of Alabama guys there, two in a waddle for the Miami first. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's the result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. Now a play fake. Here's Tug by Lowe. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting. Get the football. That's what they want. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis. And it's second down. Throwing now is Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Hey, someone's sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now Allen, and he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Bills have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or... You make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line so Miami coming out for their second drive they find themselves in a good size hole here in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. On play action, here's Tua. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. He wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Play action, now it's Tua. And a quick throw here, that's complete. To the 40 and no further. The broken tackle, but then the hole closed quickly. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. 
So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football, all right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, they will throw it with Tagovailoa. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua, and the Dolphins are back within a score. In goal line situations, defensive backs are taught never to get beat inside. So the fade route is a great answer to that. And quarterbacks, if they just throw it where only their receiver can get it, they have a great opportunity to make it work. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Now Hardy on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. To the air, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's got this down to the 35. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle, because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Works right side into the hands of the temple. The ball comes out. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 15. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. 
Well, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Tua wants to throw it on second down. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. In motion, Hill. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one he may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second quarter from Miami, it's the Dolphins with the football. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. As they've got it as we resume action. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Two are going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Here's Hardy set to return. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. And now out come the Bills. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it's second down. Brings up second and nine at the 48-yard line. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. 
I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. And again, it's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. That'll give him eight that time. And third and one now. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Allen now looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down. They only needed one, but it ends up being a gain of six and moves the chains. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Allen now on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bills. Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Bass on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and this will be a touchback Barrios deciding not to bring it out out comes the Miami offensive unit now they get set to take over the defense got the better of them last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I hope they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. Now he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to have the football back again. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Oh, 
And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants with it. He has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. From the 29, here's second and four. Allen. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there is no space available and incompletion as a result. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Allen going to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Allen to throw once more. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. This is second and eight. Here's Allen to throw it. It's caught by Davis. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up third and one. And off comes to Cook. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. 
On this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. To throw, it's Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive, but bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. And we know that every down counts, but let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation. They took full advantage of third down there and made a play. The kick by Bass is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. to so three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Miami set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to pass to him. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Tua. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect him with his legs for that first down pickup. 
First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. This second and four. From the gun, it's Tua. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Two are going to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Brings up second and goal at the five-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins are going to be forced to settle for three. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, the Coach, are fairly thank you. We welcome to everyone back It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. 
Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. A lot depending on the spot there. And he got it. But it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Tyrell Dodson, the one to bring him down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Tua wants to throw it on second down. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 38-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Tua sets up to pass it. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. They set up the screen, A-Chan has it. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook, and he's able to get up here to the 26. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he gets this up past the 30. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Allen. 
Throw left side complete. That's Cook. The first down screen pass, good for five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Second and five. Now Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. to the air, Allen. And Davis has it over the middle. A big play here for Buffalo, 49 yards. Another big play right there, and this is where as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now Allen again. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise. Methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. to the touchdown bass to kick it away Barrios now from his end zone and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 the Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game Charles if they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback it has to start right here right now yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. Out route to Hill, complete. Down the left sideline, inside the 20, Tyreek Hill. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to cut into that deficit. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Yeah. 
Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. They start the drive with Cook. And some room to work. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. Nah, they're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yep. Back side guys, oh, man. that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable gain. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. They'll try the right side with Murray. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They have what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Yeah, just couldn't hang on to the slam. Left side, Cook. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Allen now looks to throw. Now quick throw there is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet, but that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. 
to and now on first down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Gets this one to Hill. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Two of a Tyreek for the Miami first. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now is second and ten. Here's Tua. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's second and ten. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. Open man is Waddle complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Looking to pass, Tua, he's got his target, that's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 30. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier, now he's got a first down here. First down, first and 10 at the 30 yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. A run with Mostert up the middle. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, 28 yards. And 
the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, yes, that's his third touchdown catch, which is very impressive, but on the scoreboard, they're still struggling. So safe to say that without him, my goodness, yikes, they are in major league trouble. He's doing his best to try and keep them in the game. Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. The Bills going to take over again on offense. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, that's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Allen going to throw. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 now. Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The Bills on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and seven. To throw, it's Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Well, was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm got was just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. 
And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't it. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Tua. And he completes it to Barrios. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 39 that time. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Now Tua. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time you had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 51 yards. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Sanders now to add the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. But Gabe Davis and the offense getting the football back here. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because... Not only is he catching him, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. Been, this seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. On first down, Allen finding Knox there, complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. Brings up second and three. At the 
Now Allen. Getting the football to Davis on an out round. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. On second down, Cook. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and ten. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And effective running here, he'll take it down inside the ten. 82 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills will add to their fourth quarter lead. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses. Hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. A toss running left. It's Cook. And he is not going to get into the end zone here, although there is a flag down, but this could very well be a hold anyway. The decision is to decline it and not give him the down back. They might as well have sent a skywriter above the stadium saying, we don't think you can get the first down against our defense by that decision. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up second down. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 22 yard line.
Two are going to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, and tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both <laughs> feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. <laughs> Take your word for it, my man. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, they will throw it with Tagovailoa. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Just need a yard here, second and one. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Finding Waddle crossing the field and bringing it in. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 40. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Right at the 40. Here's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And from the 34, here's second and four. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. And quickly they get to the line. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second down and a yard. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. He'll swing this out. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. It, what's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. And he is caught. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Here's Tua. And this is caught down for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes, look at your timeouts, make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted, so many things to go through. They do tack on the extra point as well, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
after the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders. And up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. The Bills offense back out onto the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Time to ground it out now with Murray. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. the middle it's caught and here's another tackle made at the line so they're converging well on the football now two runs for a net gain of nothing now here's third and ten Back to throw, Allen. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Sam Martin now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. So Tua and the Dolphins down by five. A little over a minute and a half remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Tua. He's going to let it fly. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Now Tua. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Throwing to a... And that is incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Tua. Incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So now let's look at this situation with no timeouts remaining. The offense should be able to just run the clock out. I know that's what it says on my time management chart up here. And I know a lot of teams are hiring a time management coach who's going to sit in the box, talk to the head coach. And in this situation, if you do anything but take a knee in victory formation, 
then you're not playing the game right. This game should be over. Take the knee, hold on to the ball. By the way, so impressive that you do have a time management chart up here. Listen, you know I can't count. So <laughs> I need it in a big way. We can't hire anyone to help us out. So hopefully I'm reading it correctly. down to a knee and that should just about do it well, taking that knee maybe just a sigh of relief they withstood a big fourth quarter comeback able to hold on though certainly looked like they had things going their way didn't it in the fourth quarter that just hold on as you said furious assault on them but they were able to get it done take a knee and head to the locker room with a win What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, 